recruits. Passport problems at Manchester. I want that man sacked. I really want that man sacked. He didn't have a clue what he was doing. And meet the mother of the bride. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze on a far-flung holiday. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If there's one thing guaranteed to cause headaches at the airport, it's problems with passports, particularly when they go missing just as the flight is about to close. Anybody found any passports, boarding cards and tickets at all? No, thank you. But Britannia staff know their passengers well. I'll tell you what, I know it's been done. Excuse me. Do you have any objection to me going through your bag? No. You Are can. you sure? No. You well, can. watch me and then you know. Yeah. All right. You All right. Yeah. No. Not that I don't trust you. No. Well, it can't then. Yeah. No. Yeah, we can. Right, because sometimes... They're here. Oh, oh, Got them. Where were Got they? them. In, in the, the pocket. Oh, my God. Okay. Right. Yeah, they just found right. them in the Tell bag. Right, tell me what to do. Put those with that. The airline staff have seen it all before. Your mum Mr. Coleman has a secret. His son Leslie is 16 and should have his own passport, but he's on his mum's. So the family are pretending he's 15. Is he 15 or is he 16? He's uh, 81. Date passport here. The lady said, uh, "Hi, the boy's 16." What? Don't okay. say you want to nap it up there. now. I haven't. Don't start with me. You nap it up. Well, I'm on your bike. I'm telling you, I'm on your bike. Out went wrong. Telling you. That was just, I uh, just building up. So he's on it. your passport. He's on my passport. No. Um, Mrs. Coleman is forced to confess. Yeah. I told you a little puff, yeah, to yeah. be quite honest. Right, because right, right. right, I'm just getting a bit uptight. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and Palmer suddenly seems a long way away. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Runcorn... Absolute bedroom. I never even finished packing till last night. So whatever I've forgotten now, tough. Anne Brain has her work cut out. She's organising a party of 11 for a wedding trip, 4,000 miles away in the Dominican Republic. Mind cow, please. <laughs> I don't believe this, he likes it crabbed up. I'll just show you the wedding dress. Anne's daughter, Anne Marie, is the bride. She's going to marry her childhood sweetheart, her cousin, Paul Crow. Are you eating? The couple already have a baby daughter. Ryan, have you had enough to eat, darling? And today they have another reason to celebrate. Good news, Anne-Marie is pregnant again. Early days, yes, but I hope it's another girl that'll give me two of each then. <laughs> Paul wants a boy. Paul wants a boy. Well, you get what you're given in this life, girl, and that's it. Bye. 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 So far, so good. 11 people, 25 pieces of luggage, and one wedding dress on the bus. The whole trip has cost £10,000, and the family are determined to have a good time. At Manchester, good news for the Colemans. So just go through the system as normal at the other end. Just as normal and just go through. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Kathy Duffy is prepared to let the family take a gamble. The airline itself, through experience over the years, we tend to have little guidelines. We know where we can take a chance and where not to. Sometimes we might send a telex after requesting, explaining the problem. 
if it's something like this, he's only just turned 16, he's still young, he'd probably get away with it. Well, it was a long time coming, but we're here, we're here now. <laughs> the wedding party arrives, and there's one small worry to be cleared up. Do you know if this tavern on the plane, do we go through the, do you need to triangle, or do we go round it because she keeps telling me we're going through it? Well, you will go through the Bermuda Woo. triangle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish you that. <laughs> told you. The Britannia Training Centre at East Midlands Airport. These hopefuls fought off 8,000 applicants to win a place on the cabin crew training course. Aaron Smith is a former hairdresser. His new roommate, Jason Ravengard, used to stack shelves in Tesco. Uh, my name's Tracy and I'll be taking the course. The four-week course is gruelling and trainees must pass every stage to keep their jobs. The gopher. <laughs> no, not really. If I get through, I'll be so happy, yeah. Because I want to do it so much, I've really got to make sure that I'll get through. It would look failure as well to go back so, and say, um, I didn't do it. Minutes, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> we don't bite. <laughs> One of the things I'm looking forward to is working with the gay stewards. Puffers don't bother me. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not racist in that way at all. There's no competition, so it just leaves all the rest of the girls there for, for me. You know, out of the straight ones and the gay ones, who do you think is going to get the most attention? I know it's hard to say don't, you know, try and relax, but you've done the hard part. There's going to be difficult, it's going to be laughs, it's going to be tears, but we'll get there. Yeah. Britannia plane Yankee Delta needs 45 tonnes of kerosene for its nine-hour journey to the Dominican Republic. The crew are all present and correct, all except one. Mom. Oh, at last. Here you are. Thank you, Florence. That's all right. I wish you'd give up smoking. Oh, and give up everything else while I'm at it. That's all right. OK. I have sugared. Chief Steward BJ has had an unusual tennis accident. I was just standing at the net, minding my own business, and a volley hit me in the nether regions. And uh, I think, without being melodramatic, I have been an extreme agony. One emergency operation later and BJ has been ordered to rest. I must sound very sad but I, I love my work, I love my job and to be stuck here, you know, walking around like John Wayne, um, it's just not funny. Twelve-year-old Jerry ann Blaney should be going on a fortnight's holiday to Ibiza with her family but there's another passport problem. She does not hold a document. Are they going to send it to her? Kathy Duffy is on the case. Jerry Ann is not on her own passport. She's on her mum and dad's. Is it your mum and dad's or just your mum's? Yes, yeah, And uh, they thought that, um, come here, look. They thought that uh, she didn't need her own passport till she was 14. So, and we didn't know the difference because our two were on mine. So we, none of us knew. Kathy has contacted Ibiza to see if Jerry Ann will be allowed in using her mother's passport. Uh, sent a telex to Ibiza to try and uh, find out, but they didn't say if they said they won't hold out much hope. No, because it's not. It was out of date, it would be more. Hi, can I help you? One lady in dress. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> For trying on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, thank you. My <laughs> word. It's heavy, isn't it? Well, we're not snitching, but the, the groom's suit's in there as well. <laughs> Is it? On Yes. Cream. White. White. Don't know who she's kidding, Lyle. <laughs> Hello there. With boarding well underway for the Dominican Republic flight, stewardess Lisa Louie is keeping an eye out for nervous passengers. Hello there. Right. So what, what is it that makes you nervous? I what? Like I've flown so many times. Have you? I just get worse all the time. Why is that then, do you think? Right. June Murray is taking her son Sean on a long-promised holiday, but she's terrified. Not a problem, we'll leave you on your own. You know, you're going to be with us all the time. And we'll look after you. Is it? 
There we are. Oh, we're getting in a bit of a stew. Here. Right, Sean better go by the window. You don't want to see, do you? Is that all right there? With June in a new seat, Lisa has a secret weapon to take her mind off the takeoff. Right, June. Her cyber pet. Time is now, so you have to concentrate. So you won't even be thinking about in here. You've got 11 minutes till he wakes up. Are you going to be all right with him? All right. But the cyber pet is soon forgotten. If we ask you to leave the aircraft urgently, low-level lighting will direct you to the exit. In the unlikely event of an emergency situation, we will ask you to take up the brief position, like this. How's the uh, young lady? Sure. Jerry Ann's flight is boarding, and Ibiza have come back with their decision. Yeah, you, you know, it's a no-no. She can't. I'm really sorry. I thought you knew at check-in, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, no, it's no. I knew it'd be no. I mean, at least we tried. Yeah. Oh, they will. She'll that. be looked after, I promise you. And I take it her mother's coming, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, darling. I'm going to have to put your cigarette out, please. But Jerry Ann's parents can't get here for another three hours. Okay, what do you want? What? You want a watch? A watch? <laughs> a watch? I don't think so. An hour into the flight and Lisa's working hard. But there's still time for a joke. You are joking. <laughs> you have to sit down, you know, with your cigarette. Daddy, I put that out for me, Okay, thank you. Daddy. Well, excuse me for just looking surprised while I'm doing a drink service. However, I'll just let everyone wait and I'll just go and get your watch, shall I? You wait. There you are, screw it, you are, aren't you? I would have nabbed it up there. Do you know that customer's always right, Malarkey? Not. Hi. Best wish you to let the rest of the baby in there. Back at Manchester, check-in is all but deserted, but Jerry ann is still waiting. So wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. Halfway over the Atlantic, and even the crew have time to relax. She's on board the pier now. Have you seen what they've done to me now? She's only drowned herself. Two glasses of vodka and the team in here all over me dress. But it was my fault, wasn't it? And this is a suit. And the top. She had a glass the same amount. Yeah. So it'll basically be 26 in each. The groom is asleep, happy in the knowledge of his bride's affections. We've been thinking about it, what he actually asked me at the baby's christening, which was May of 96. I got down and proposed in front of everybody. And it was a couple of days later that I was flying away. So when I come back, he had the rings for me, gave it to me. I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't change anything about him. To me, he's just perfect as he is. This is Sean. Yeah, yeah this is Sean. Absolutely terrified. She's doing very June well. June has been coaxed into the flight deck. Marvellous. Where's my cyber pet? <laughs> you killed my cyber pet? June, I don't believe you. You were supposed to look after him. Did you? Occasionally, we have people who do come up onto the flight deck. Uh, who uh, do have a fear of, fear of travel, and it does seem to help them. Uh, and, and sometimes it's wonderful to see the transformation, how they, uh, 
they go out and they're a, they're a changed person. Uh, but um, I think that this poor lady, she really has uh, got it really bad. I really did feel sorry for her. Three in the morning, but not everyone's tired. Join in, everybody! I Jerry Ann's dad is finally here. Hello. We're really sorry about this. But he has also had a difficult night. Um, but she needs her own passport. You know what? Honestly, I've, I've been just come back from this. I've had a terrible motorbike accident, lost my mouth. You know, mm. we've gone through hell. We, we... He says he was acting on the advice of an airport worker. Right. That they can Unfortunately, it was a worker from a different airline. This should never happen. Honestly, we were really specified to the man on the desk. Well, apparently, Jerry you know. Ann was saying that her grandmother had said that she needed her own passport. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly she why. Know, exactly yeah. why we specified to the man on, on the desk, and he meant, no, you don't have to change it for another two years at least. Can't believe oh, that. Oh, to God. He was absolutely inadequate for the job. He did not have a clue. Well, we're looking to Oh, I want, I, want it, I want it sorted. I want that man sacked. Wow. I really want that man sacked. He didn't have a clue what he was doing. We'll, we'll look into it, definitely. Oh, I won't rest until this man's recommended. I mean this, honestly, I mean... Britannia will still fly her to Ibiza when she has her own passport. I can't rely on what somebody on the check-in desk says. If you read the passport, it says... See, that's why I mentioned Grandma. Grandma knew that she couldn't travel. Bye-bye. on this side? Uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. Day three of the course, and the trainees are about to get their uniforms and some strict rules about their appearance. So, um, you know, we do ask you to wear red lipstick and to wear eye makeup, foundation. But anyway, if anybody wants to have a go, does anybody want to volunteer to sit up here? <laughs> yeah. Too much broken, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, just a wee bit. Yeah. yeah. That's just a wee bit. Slit, yeah. cool. That's um, what I'm not. I thought that. Uh, but uh, I'll nip it in the bud. Going to be transformed tonight. You don't wear lipstick normally. You don't wear eyeshadow. Is that a hair grip? Yes, yeah, my lucky hair grip. It's tight grip. Why is it lucky? Well, it's just because it keep me in touch with my hairdressing side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just in case I need to be on the aircraft and I see a girl, I can just. Slip it in. Yep. The hair grip. Yep. The other bit comes the leader. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, it gives me a great pleasure to present to you your Elizabeth Emmanuel designer uniform. Britannia are proud of their uniform. Each complete outfit costs nearly £2,000. and they're watching all the models and this is the best thing about it now. They're going to get the box, it's like Christmas, I suppose. Anything, boys? Oh, it's like Christmas. I want a bit more than the uniform from my Christmas. Now the moment of truth. <laughs> Next day, a mixed reaction to the uniform. The hat and the scarf because it gets in my head. I've got really big ears, but they stick out really bad. <laughs> and do you know what I want to do with mine? I want to put it on. I tuck my ears in, but I can't because then <laughs> look, they just stick out at the bottom. But I'm really worried that like when I've got it on like that, look at my ears. Oh, so you know they are. Stupid. I'm really paranoid about them. I mean, when I school they used to call me trophy head. <laughs> this is how you should do it. <laughs> Never, like it's not me. I would never pull this bag. I don't care how heavy it is. Never. It's it's got a side handle, so perfectly for carrying on side. It gives the right impression as soon as I walk through the crew room. The girls can see he's straight. The blokes can see he's straight. That way the girls know 
what to go for and the blokes know to stand back. Peace at last on the flight to the Dominican Republic, just as it's about to land. The big day has arrived. Anne-Marie and Paul are wearing full wedding regalia, even though it's 90 degrees. The Caribbean is the fastest growing destination for weddings abroad. Britannia takes 5,000 wedding parties there every year. Lisa and the cabin crew are enjoying one of the perks of the job. Four days in a top Caribbean resort hotel. <laughs> On the training course, the pressure is mounting. How many emergencies? Two. Where is the situation? Um, which one is the emergency or the... the emergency doors? And not three. Daily exams mean nightly revision, often into the early hours. And people mm. say you're just a trolley dolly, a glamorous waitress. Anybody waitress. says we are trolley dollies, I'm going to smack them right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I will not let them leave me, I tell you. As well as passing the civil aviation exams, the trainees must be word perfect for their practicals. In case of emergency, Oxygen masks will be provided. They will drop down from the unit above your head. To activate the oxygen, pull firmly downwards on the mask and place over the nose and mouth. Your seatbelt must be fastened when the fasten your seatbelt sign is illuminated. The seatbelt fastens, adjusts and opens <laughs> like this. Back in the Caribbean, the cabin crew remember an absent friend. Yeah, why didn't he come? I don't know. You know no, I knew it was Rostov. Oh, didn't tell him. Well, what happened was he, um, you know, he plays tennis. DJ plays tennis. Yeah, he plays it. I think he's it's playing good. It. Yeah, he's just playing it quite good. And um, a tennis ball hit him in the uh, ghoulies. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the only one. Oh. <laughs> Leslie Coleman was allowed through Palmer Airport without a passport. BJ was fully recovered and back to work in 10 days. And Jerry Ann finally made it to Ibiza two days late. Next week, romance blossoms on the training course and BJ's in the firing line. <laughs>